Hello friends, welcome to this video on C programming. So in this video, we will be taking a look at the question where we have to find the quotient and the remainder, okay, when we are given a number, okay, and the divisor. So for example, okay, I have a number, okay, 1234, okay, this is the number that I have and I have to divide it. So I have to devise, there's a divisor, okay, divisor is 20, okay. So what I have to do is I have been given these two numbers. Okay. So number is actually the dividend. Okay. So I'll say this is nothing but the dividend. Okay. Which will be using. Okay. Uh, uh, in a calculation and this is the divisor which will be, uh, we'll be using to divide the number. So suppose these are the two numbers okay, that are given to us. Okay. And what they have asked us is let me put it in comments. Yeah. And what we have to find out is what is the quotient and the remainder when we divide 1, 2, 3, 4 by 20. So suppose, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, I divide it by 20, okay, what is going to be the quotient and the remainder? So let me write it here. What is the quotient and what is the remainder? Okay, these are the two things, okay, that we have to print out on the screen. So when we'll divide this, we will get, uh, so uh, 1234 divided by 20 will be, so 123, okay, this goes by 6 times, so this will be 6, okay, and remainder will be 34, and 34, uh, when you will divide by 20, it will go by 1, so you will have a uh, remainder as 14, so 61 will be the quotient and 14 is the remainder. So let's see how to implement this, okay, so first of all, let's include our header file, okay, so include studio.h okay and now let's do int main okay and now let's say we have the dividend okay so let's take it as an integer so we have a dividend and we have a divisor okay which will be given by the user and then we will be calculating two numbers that is quotient and the remainder and these two we have to print on the screen so let's get started so first of all let's ask the user okay to enter okay the dividend enter dividend okay and give backslash n and then you store uh, okay this is just to print out okay we will do a scanf in the next line and now in scanf okay you give person d and you store okay whatever number the user is going to enter here you store it in dividend variable so let's write and dividend okay so it will be stored in dividend and similarly okay we have to store divisor so let me copy this paste it and let me change this to divisor okay and also divisor okay so we have uh, taken the first variable dividend and we have taken the second variable divisor from the user and now let's see how to calculate the quotient and the remainder so quotient is going to be equal to dividend divided by divisor okay dividend okay sorry it's small right okay. dividend divided by divisor okay and what is going to be the remainder remainder is going to be dividend percent divisor okay so this is the modulo operation what it gives us it is it will give us the remainder okay when dividend is divided by the divisor okay so this will be the remainder and a quotient will be dividend divided by divisor division operation okay so these are the two things and now let's print print f okay and let me say quotient is equal to person d okay and let me say backslash n remainder is equal to person d okay and give a backslash n and now you have to print these two values okay in place of person d so just replace these two okay so in the first place we have to print the quotient that we calculated in line number 20 and in the second place we have to print remainder from line number 21 okay that's all okay for this program just return zero okay and we are done okay so that's how we calculate this let me save it and let me run it so it's asking us okay to enter the dividend so let us say one two three four okay and enter the divisor let's say 20 okay and let's hit enter let's wait so it's saying quotient is 61 and remainder is 14 okay let me make it up 
and now let's say let's try with a different example so okay let me run the program again okay enter the dividend i will say 156 oh sorry 156 okay let's give a big number okay 156789 enter the divisor let's say 2 okay so this we can easily validate so you see that okay this is an uh, this is an odd number right so odd number is uh, non divisible by 2 okay so it will always leave a remainder of 1 and we are getting a remainder of 1 and this is the quotient so that's all for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next video